Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Ohio farm. It's mid January. The snow that we had in early January melted. Uh, and it's snowing again. I'm not sure we'll get enough that it'll accumulate, but we'll see how it goes. Not much going on here in January. We're just operating the dairy and I probably got to feed the cows again because our mixture's not that big. So two mixture wagons is only 5,000 liters of total mixture ration. So it doesn't go terribly far. Cows aren't producing milk quite rapidly enough that we have enough to take up every single day to the dairy. We'll see what we got. I'm not sure how they pr much they produce overnight. <sighs> I get lazy in the winter time. It's nice being in the house where it's warm. Good morning, ladies. Let's see what's going on in here. All right, so here we are, Cow Barn Large. Only have 798 liters of milk ready. That's not much. Feed, we need to do some feed. We're way over on fertilizer. And the production's out, so we'll deactivate it up there. I think we'll just take a quick drive up to the dairy, see what's going on. And I guess, ah, oh man, it's just uh, making feed. <laughs> Which you've seen me do a million times, right? Not going to be much opportunity to make money this winter. We already sold all of our crops. So it's just what we make on the dairy products. And that's going to be it. I don't think chickens are going to produce eggs quickly enough. We just took some of those. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a while again. Not even a one. Hmm. It's like 
feeding the cows about all we're going to get to do today. But maybe I'll do another batch. Of course, I'm going to need the field info open so I know how much is in each bale.
so that's 5,000 liters of feed in there. It's probably not going to put much of a dent in it. We'll take a look here. Yeah, it could still use a lot more. But if you've seen me mix two mixer wagons of feed, you've seen me mix them all. So, yeah, there's not much going on here in early January. I'm going to keep mixing up feed for the cows. And uh, I'll see you again at the end of January. I'll just go ahead and do this off camera. You don't need to watch me do it. So, I'll see you at the end of January. Hey, good morning. It's the uh, end of January now. 8 o'clock in the morning. It's snowing again. Uh, yeah, it snowed, yeah, probably up until yesterday afternoon in mid-January. But no accumulation. Ended up feeding the cows about, uh, what, four more mixer wagons full? So another 10,000 liters. I can see my controller drift there while I grab my cup of coffee. There we go. chilly this morning all right whoa so we should have enough milk to take today I think oh wrong door that one oh got some accumulation there we go So yesterday we didn't have any accumulation, but now here at the end of January we do, and it's still snowing. It'll probably melt off, though. throw some straw bales in here for bedding too wouldn't hurt uh, let's see uh, let's see what it looks like all right we're here still at 70 percent reproduction we got almost 1600 liters of milk our slurry is full and oh yeah i think it probably went down about Three, four thousand liters. I think we could probably give them two mixer wagons every day just and stay even with how much feed they're eating. Which actually, that's okay. It's not so bad. I'm going to grab three of these. I don't know how far it'll go. Probably not very. One. do and while we do this hopefully that'll uh, produce a little more milk for us three mm. I'll come back later maybe and mix up another couple feed wagons I don't know. That snow that was in my bucket yesterday, I think that was from just uh, having the bucket on the ground and it just picked it up through the door automatically when the snow was on the ground. Not sure. Okay, what's that look like? Not much difference. And then we dump that snow over here. I don't know if you'll even be able to tell where we did. 
I don't know if it melted off yesterday before this came down. Somewhere around here, I think. Anyway, chickens. So when we come in here, we got to be careful that we don't get the shovel down too low and pick up snow before we get into the into the silage. So I suppose just kind of scoop it off the pile more than scoop it up from the ground level. So we'll take what milk we have up to the dairy and get it chugging away again. Maybe we'll get some products made. But yeah. Slow winter. Oh, a contract came up yesterday for plowing, but the only plow I have is Bartholomew's original plow. It's only a 0.6 meter plow. We use the spader. to get the plowed state on our field because I bought one used because I'd never used it before. Yeah, but you can't use it on a contract because it doesn't recognize it as a plow even though it gives you plowed state. So the game won't let you use a spader on a plowing contract. I don't think they'll let you use a subsoiler either. I'm not sure. My guess is probably the same rule kind of applies. So it'll just give you like a message. You don't have access to this field with a subsoiler or a spader. You have access to it with a plow for the plow and contract. But I don't know, it was, it was a while ago, but I was thinking about, yeah, we didn't make any more. How we need to get a bigger tanker. That was wishful thinking. I don't think we need to get a bigger tanker. Or a bigger tank. We're not producing milk fast enough to warrant it. Hopefully tomorrow, then, in February, we'll have some products to sell so we can make some money. Oh. After you, kind sir. All right. offload and we'll come over here we'll turn the production back on butter and cheese by tar to see how everything's going at the market. We got nothing to deliver, but well, it's up two days in a row.
Oh, <laughs> sticking down the road. Oh, sorry. So I'm gonna mix up some more feed. I'll do my usual two. I won't make you watch me do that though. We'll run in the house, check the used equipment. I'll leave you there where it's warm. I'll come back out here and I'll make some more uh, total mix ration for the cows. throw them out when I was up here earlier. Two. And three. Well, I almost on the other stack of straw now. There we go. All right, let's go check the used equipment inside. I'll leave you in there where it's warm. I'll come back out here. Feed the cows. All right, what do we got for used equipment? Oh, now a skid steer comes available. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's annoying. What's a for my uh, oh what's that? That's that little far What's the header size for that? Three point two, two point seven for the corn. Yeah. That's not something we need. Alright, you stay in here. Have some cookies. I'll see you in a little while. Actually, it'll really be February unless something happens. But anyway, we'll see you in February. Uh, hey, good morning. Welcome back to Colonia. Welcome back. We're in the middle of the episode. <laughs> so happens when I take a break. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, boy. So I mixed up some feed for the cows um, at the end of January, and they didn't take all of the second mixer, so it looks like uh, doing two mixer wagons every day will replace 5,000 liters of total mix ration. And slide on. Oh, yeah. Um, that'll replace what it appears they're consuming. So, if I could work that into my schedule every day and maybe just try and not do it on camera, that'll work out great. We'll go check on the cows. I don't know if we're going to have enough milk to take up. Probably not. Uh, but I know that some products were made up at the uh, up at the dairy. So let's check, see what the cows look like here. So here we are in the cow barn large. Man, we got to find something to do with the slurry. <laughs> Too bad can't sell it anywhere. I need to look for a mod like slurry buying station or something like that throw it on here somewhere of course got it on the land to be able to put that in anyway we're so it'll hold 60,000 liters of feed and we got 56 560 in there and there's just a little we only got 798 liters of milk I'm going to take it up anyway, just try and keep the the dairy running. I'm also going to empty what little feed is in the uh, feed wagon as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll do the feed. It's just going to be a little bit. Then we'll take the milk up, put it in, and then we'll yeah, it's got like 90 liters. That's so hardly nothing, but that way we can get a full mixture wagon. When we do make some, we can get a full, full load. Oh. <laughs> Near the door. All right. It's funny, the skid steer came up in the used market yesterday, was it? At the end of January? That would have been about half what we paid for that forklift. That would have been nice. I like the forklift. I like it a lot. But 15,000 euros would have been useful. All right, so it's only, yeah, not even 800, but we'll take it. We'll take it up there. Yeah, I don't think we can plant uh, potatoes until April. Also, the corn, not until April. And what were we going to do? Oats? I don't think we can do that until April or later as well. You know, we'll cultivate the uh, oil seed radish in, in March, I suppose. Should have at least a couple of pallets of 
stuff up here. Probably one butter and one cheese at a minimum, I'm hoping. Oh, maybe not. Wow. Okay. We'll see here in a minute. We got... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit... Sorry, I had a sneeze there. I think I got it all one. Yeah, I had a couple of sneezes. I think I got the microphone muted. All right, so this... Yeah, it's a bummer. I don't know. Guess we'll leave it for tomorrow. Maybe we'll have a couple tomorrow in mid-February. Yeah, the money's just going down. <laughs> They're not selling anything. It's not going up. I don't think it's likely we'll see any contracts either other than plowing which we don't have a plow we could buy a plow I guess we got 29,000 euros but I don't, I don't think it'll make us much money even doing plowing contracts I guess I could take my little plow and go do it it'll take forever but <laughs> Lisa Plow? I wonder. I wonder if that's financially reasonable thing to do. Go check used equipment and contracts and see what we have. And then I'll probably mix up some feed off camera. All right, used equipment. Oh, that, those are cool. I'd like to get one of those someday and something. We aren't doing squares, big squares anywhere, though. Yeah, not surprising, no contracts. <clears throat> All right, well, that was quick. Been here for one game hour <laughs> and that's uh, that's all she wrote for February 1 I'm going to mix up some feed I'm going to do it off camera I'll see you in mid-February probably unless something happens okay it's uh 
mid-February now. It's snowing out. It's been kind of a slow winter, not much going on. <laughs> I don't know. I was looking at trying to find something to do with the slurry. Couldn't find anything really inexpensive. There was a production where you could take slurry and and turn it into uh, mineral fertilizer, but it cost like fifty thousand euros. And then there was a couple of like cell points. One cost twenty. And one cast one cost about thirty. Um, I kind of like the one that costs thirty, but that's more money than I have, and I don't know <laughs> it'd really be worth it for us. But no, oh, let me turn that off. Oh, I did, or I didn't turn on one of the two. I turned it off and didn't even realize it. Yeah, you, know, you look without seeing. Listen without hearing and do without realizing. So I mixed up feed yesterday. I put one mixture wagon in and I left the other one in the wagon because they weren't ready to completely take it. Good morning, ladies. Let's uh, take a look at the cows here. Um, so yeah, they won't even take a full one just yet. 798. That must be our, how much milk we produce in one 24 hour period. Cause that's what we had yesterday. Um, let me scroll through these cows real quick here. Um, Reproduction at 10%. Maybe those, at 18 months, maybe these will start producing milk now. Maybe we'll get more. Those are at 80%. I'm not 100% sure at what point cows start producing the milk. These are 52 months. What is that? Four. Um, not quite five years old. 60 months would be five years old, right? I also notice that my chickens need feed. I better do that quick before the snow accumulates because that's going to create a problem for me. Um, yeah, I noticed they were down to like 100 on feed. No, I can't put, I don't think I can put all this in there. Maybe I can. I don't know how much it holds. It's down to a hundred right now though. Maybe it'll take all of it. I probably haven't let it get down this low before. <laughs> it's been a while since I've noticed it. Nope, nope, didn't take it all. Almost all of it. All right, so what I want to do is I want to get this over here. I want to... I want to dump it out quick and go grab the shovel. And put it in here. And the reason I said 
this could be a problem for me is because if the snow starts accumulating on the ground, come on. It'll make it hard for me to pick this up. Okay, so I think if I if I dump it on the tarp, it'll go into the silo. When I dump it into the silo, I'm not sure it does, so. There we go. Don't want to lose 60 liters of wheat. <laughs> Since I have this out, oh, I'm gonna. I was thinking about using it, but I want to take the 800 liters of milk up to the uh, dairy. Oop. I'm looking out the back. Close that. Let's grab the Z tour. Actually, we'll put that we'll put that feed in later because it's it won't take it all just now. It's been a long winter. Maybe I should just fast forward through the whole thing and then do all this stuff at one day at the end of the winter rather than <laughs> a little bit every day. I don't know. We've got some good snowfall coming down now. We gotta figure out how to start producing milk uh, more quickly. It's got the same problem on Ohio farm too. Just doesn't doesn't produce the milk very fast. Oh man, got what two butter pellets? Is that? I gotta be getting close to a cheese though, right? Yeah. So it ran out from what I put in yesterday because it doesn't even have 797, okay.
so I guess what we'll do we'll load the butter up and then we'll go wait for the cheese to get produced Once the cheese gets produced, we'll come back up, we'll load it up, and then we'll take everything to to Targ. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm really, oh, I am way off on one side. How did I do that? That was horrible. Okay. Not ideal. Come on, what's going on here? I don't want to come off the fork. How about on the ground? Seems like the pallet's stuck on the forks. I don't want that to happen. There we go. will work a little better. Looks good. Okay, we'll throw those straps on. And then uh, we'll come back later when the uh, cheese is done and loaded up. Maybe in the afternoon. Wait till after lunch. not been very exciting on here, has it? <laughs> It'd be better if we could produce uh, milk a little faster and then, then we'd have more products coming out of the dairy, but it's...
in retrospect, I really should have bought that field container for the slurry. That probably would have been the cheapest way not to lose money. I mean, right now we're just kind of losing money because we don't have uh, space for the slurry we're producing. Which is a bit of, bit of a shame, but I guess. We'll go in the house, we'll check on used equipment. We'll see if there are any contracts, which there most likely won't be. And then we'll wait till after lunch. And we'll see if we got that cheese pellet up there and we'll sell those products. But that's kind of the way it goes. Let's see, what do we got? <laughs> Trailer. Nope. Nothing. No contracts. All right. Well, I think I'll uh, I'll just sit down, and watch some TV, I guess. And wait till this afternoon. I'll see you this afternoon. We'll go uh, sell some dairy products at the market. Okay, it's just after one o'clock now. I think we should have a. Uh, cheese pellet up there. Snow stopped. I think I can give the cows the feed now. Let's see if there's space for... Oh, it's only 2,500. There should be space for it. I was thinking five. I was thinking I needed room for 5,000, but that's two mixer loads. So yeah, we should be fine. There we go. Okay. What I'll do is probably at the end of the day, I'll mix up two more mixer wagons of feed, give the cows one, save the other one for tomorrow. And I can do that off camera and you won't have to watch it. Then maybe once, once a month or something like that, we'll just go through the motions of showing you. But we're still doing it, but you don't have to watch it all the time. Pretty sure there's going to be a cheese pellet up here by now. We haven't made any money in this episode yet, have we? I don't think so. Oh no! Are you kidding me? We'll wait for it. <laughs> we'll speed up time, I guess. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Need a little more time, was all. Gotta make some money in this episode. I mean, come on. It's getting ridiculous. A 
load the cheese on. We want to get it down to the market before they end up, you know, packing up and going home. I think we're still, we're still good on time for that. Okay, we'll strap this. Oh, got room for one, yep. And we'll take this down to Targ. Then I think we'll probably end the episode at least finally earning a little bit of money. Nice horn. I know the cheese is going for like 3500 I think. Something close to that. So that'll be some good money, but. Yeah, they're still there. I guess it's like five o'clock or four o'clock they start packing up. Get so it's all in the trigger and it's all gonna go. There we go. What we get? Almost seven thousand. Nice. turn coming out of there. There we go. We got it. Alright, well it took what? Five days to make some money on this <laughs> episode? I don't know. Yeah, it took a long time. appreciate your patience and your perseverance in an episode that not much happened. I'm going to go back to the farm and mix up some feed for tomorrow. We'll see you again at the end of February. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, why not? It don't cost nothing. We'll see you next time.